In the swing time lab, we want to see is the complete swing of a pendulum the same for bobs of a different weight. We already know that a pendulum is able to swing freely back and forth by the force of gravity. How do you think the weight of the pendulum bob would affect the time for one complete swing? To test this, we need to find the weight of different washers. Five washers weigh 0.825 ounces. Three washers weigh 0.485 ounces. And one washer weighs 0.155 ounces. We also found the length of the pendulum, from the bottom of the washer to the top of the string. We want to pull the washer back to the same starting height for each trial, which is 25 centimeters. Now let's time five complete swings. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Record the time for five swings on your data table. You did five swings, so the time for one swing is the time for five swings divided by five. Complete three other trials for the same weight. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Now that you've worked out the time for one swing for three trials, you need to average the times. To do that, take each of the three trials, add them up, and divide by three. Round your number to one-tenth of a second. Now we can complete three trials for three washers. Remember to average your data. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Finally, let's repeat with one washer. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Now that you have the average time for one swing for three different weights, analyze your data. Does the weight make a difference? Go back to your original problem and state your conclusion.